Hello, I'm James Board and welcome to this very special video where we're going to be taking a look at 125 years of Sutton United. We're going to be taking the trip down memory lane where we're going to be looking at some of the greatest moments this club has ever had caught on camera. So with that in mind, our first stop is the swinging 60s, a decade that saw Sutton United go to Wembley twice, once in 1963 as they took on Wimbledon and once in 1969 where they took on North Shields, both for the FA Amateur Cup. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So the Sutton heads bomb up, but the ball has come loose now to the outside left. He fires on the shot. He's out! Now it's Hermitage, the inside forward with it. A chance here and a, an equaliser as Wimbledon appealed for offside. It wasn't given and Sutton, the Athenian league side, have equalised the day to each and anything might go from here. And then he fires a long one again and up goes Reynolds. Oh, it's there! He's there again! The fourth perfect floated centre, the fourth header by Reynolds. The Southern United supporters making the shorter trip up from Surrey. It's great applause there from both sets of fans. And there's a the first strike to Sutton. Uh, it's that man Mellows. had battled their way through from the qualifying rounds and as had been against North Shield, Sutton started as hot favourites but never showed the form of which their multi-talented side was undoubtedly capable of and that goal from Sullivan from Bishop Stortford struck to win the cup for the underdogs. We're here on this Saturday in August 1986 for our first game in the General Motors Vauxhall Conference League an auspicious occasion for Sutton United, really.
Sutton United then, part-time professionals, were able to field their best side for the first time this season. They've already beaten Aldershot and Peterborough in previous rounds. They're a good goal-scoring team, and look to the likes of Paul McKinnon. He's played European football for Malmo in Sweden. minutes. The only goal of the game from Paul Kerr with just six minutes left on the clock. Dawson. Oh, and driven in! And number 11, Matthew Hanlon, followed that in. And Sutton have done it again from a corner kick. Bringing this little ground to life once more. And the Coventry defence was standing still. He was calmly smoking his pipe. Ten years here as the manager of Sutton United. This could be his greatest day. This is Smith, it's a teasing cross, Houchins up there, and Roffey onto the bar, and Sedgley now, play on, and McGrath and Bennett get in each other's way, how did that stay out? Well, that was the great escape as far as Sutton were concerned, and Coventry with Barry Williams, <laughs> whose nerves must have been on edge, he even took the pipe out of his mouth there, tremendous cup tie atmosphere. GM Vauxhall Conference have put out First Division Coventry City, winners of the FA Cup themselves less than two years ago. They've had their moments before, but never one like this. Twice in front, the second time they were able to hold on. Both goals from corners, and Sutton United write their name all over the third round of the FA Cup in 1989 following in the footsteps of teams in the past from outside the league who put out first division opposition there haven't been too many when it happens it's headline news emotional scenes here at gander green lane sutton down in the surrey stockbroker belt they're not used to this sutton united of the gm Vauxhall conference have put out first division coventry city the cup holders themselves less than two years ago and the fans just can't believe it look at this their side took the lead on 42 minutes. Tony Raines, the left back, with a header from a corner. Coventry equalised seven minutes into the second half. David Phillips. And then this man, Trevor Roffey, the goalkeeper, and his valiant defenders kept out everything that Coventry could throw at them. While at the other end, Matthew Hanlon, a 22-year-old winger, finished off another move from a corner to give Sutton a glorious victory. Coventry fought hard towards the end. Three or four efforts crashed against post or bar or were cleared off the line. But the Sutton goal bore a charmed life 
because this indeed was their greatest day. First leg of the semi-final was against Almighty Wickham Wanderers, certain to be promoted to the uh, Football League. <laughs> so the match, Sutton United outplayed their hosts. No more than Sutton deserved when Steve Brown made it 3 2. And then it was all too easy Wickham winning 6 3 on aggregate. Mark tips it forward, Dykstra away, shot comes in, oh, tremendous goal! A superb strike away, but Sutton come again, good header, Anderson, ball in Zamora, great save from Sherry! but a controversial winner for Notts County left yeah, Sutton empty-handed. Mikorski loses in a corner. It's in! Sutton United there beaten and very unlucky to lose at Meadow Lane. And Sutton old boy Jimmy Dack here. It seemed to have settled a close game with his second half strike, but with injury time rapidly approaching, the excited crowd witnessed the finish to rival Manchester United versus Bayern Munich. Mark Watson appeared to grab what was no more than an equaliser as injury time loomed. And then Dominic Felton appeared to grab the winner. But Sutton were not finished yet, and Mark Watson claimed a second goal. <laughs> leaving the Carl Shelton supporters stunned. At least there was some silverware to take back to Gander Green Lane. The next match would be against Aldershot Town and a win would give Sutton the title. And there was time for just one more goal. 5 0 the final score.
that shield meant that the Confra status that had been lost in May 1991 at home to Runcorn had now been regained. Paul, we've just had a win against Car Shorten, a uh, presentation of the trophy, a great day for the club and uh, you must be delighted at the culmination of the season's effort. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, you know, we've sort of felt for the last maybe six to eight weeks that we were, were inching towards it. And, um, you know, for it all to come together today is a, a great day and a great achievement. And just one thing about next season, hi higher level, um, started thinking about it already? Yeah, we've thought about it over this last sort of week or two. You do, you know, whether you mean to or not. We did say we'd try and enjoy this next couple of weeks and have a, a few weeks off. But I ring him up, he rings me up, and um, you know we start discussing things. But maybe I think the players are going to Marbella. We're going with them for a three or four day trip. Perhaps Alan and I need to take stock and uh, and have a chat when we get back. Let all the celebrations and all the emotions and whatever get over that, and then make good decisions rather than bad ones. We had a season a couple of years ago where every other game was getting called off and cash flow was an issue and the business being open just once every 21 days, you know, it's not financially viable. So that was, that was the key issue. Is it a phone too, is it? You can you can you can pick up signals on it.
You know, those players in there, um, you know, deserve all the credit they get. To go 25 games now unbeaten, to go up as champions, best, uh, I think, most amount of goals scored, least conceded. Uh, just an incredible achievement, really. And today was, um, oh, it's nice to be able to let some steam off, and we're going to let some more steam off later on tonight. Spence finds Gomez again. Four to aim, four in the penalty box. Doesn't get there. Bailey Biamu tubs! Away by Smith, Bailey to Deacon. Can De Deacon produce some magic? Oh, it's there! That's incredible! Absolutely incredible! A sweet, sweet finish from Rory Deacon has sent Sutton through to the third round of the FA Cup. There's a large carrot dangling in the shape of Leeds United for the winners of this eagerly anticipated FA Cup third round replay. Wimbledon and Sutton go at it again, 10 days after an absorbing 90 minutes at Gander Green Lane ended goalless. There has to be a winner tonight with extra time and penalties if it's a stalemate at full time. Beckwith sends it in. Headed away, only as far as Manqua. Robertson. Falls to Deacon. Can he get a shot away? Yes, he can! What a glorious finish from Rory Deacon! A quite superb finish from the magic man, Rory Deacon! Into the final 30 seconds of normal time, the fourth official is about to show us that there'll be five minutes of time added on. Will Sutton not need it? Deacon! Piano's onside! Could that possibly be the winning goal for Sutton United? Max Piano! Rory Deacon equalised after 75 minutes and Max Piano scored in the 90th minute and that's proven to be the winner. He flicks it on towards Fitchett! who sealed the victory for Sutton United. A famous win in the FA Cup third round. Sutton United of the National League have dumped AFC Wimbledon of League One out of the competition and the referee has blown the full-time whistle. A dramatic evening here at Kings Meadow and Sutton United for the first time in 28 years are through to the fourth round of the FA Cup, where they'll host Leeds United of the Championship. This game obviously has a bit of history behind it, as uh, we played Leeds in 1970, we got a record crowd here as well that day. Yeah, I'm reminded of it from the uh, original poster uh, that's been in my room since really since I've been here, and it's a privilege to think that 47 years later, you know, we're going to replicate that game. and. Very, very exciting. Uh, brilliant for the football club and uh, I, you know, also for the players. I think it's, uh, it's a great day and it's a, a great club to be playing against as well. And the journey that started in October has led to a reunion dating back 47 years. Such a welcome Leeds United to Gander Green Lane at exactly the same stage of the FA Cup as they did in 1970. There's a different atmosphere this time Leeds United were the English champions and into the last days of the European Cup back then. Now they're fourth in the championship and with Sutton having fought back three times to win in their cup run and knocking out higher league opposition twice, they sense a date with history and progression into the fifth round. Paul Doswell on the edge of his technical area. some instructions as Dallas comes forward. Anderson got in the way of Dakara. That ball was heading towards Dakara. Bailey clears. Piamu's there. Piamu's fouled in the side of the balls and Deacon. That's a penalty. Penalty to Sutton. First Piamu was brought down and then Deacon. And Deacon has resulted in a penalty. Seven minutes played in the second half. 
Is this his time? Is this Sutton's time? Collins against Sylvester. United are into the lead. We played 90 seconds above the four minutes that was supposed to be added on at the end of this game. And that's it! The full-time whistle has been blown. Sutton United are through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. They've beaten Leeds United of the Championship. The all-important goal coming after 53 minutes. Jamie Collins, the captain, fantastic from the penalty spot. And this Sutton team have made history by reaching the fifth round of the FA Cup for the first time in the club's 118 years' existence. And remarkably, Sutton will still be in the FA Cup come February. That is simply astonishing. And sometimes, just sometimes, dreams do come true. It's full time at Gander Green Lane and it's ended Sutton United 1, Leeds United 0. Got the penalty early in the second half and Skipper took up, took step up and uh, never looked like missing it. No, listen, he's a fantastic leader of the dressing room. I think everyone knows uh, that we get on very, very well. But he brings that team together. Uh, probably Ian Baird's best signing because it was Ian that recommended that Jamie come here. And over this last two years, you know, he's really embodied everything about the club. Um, but he's also, as I said, he's so good with the players in the dressing room. He organises everything for me. Anything that they need to know, he's the one that does it. So it's very apt that uh, he can have his Matt Handler moment because I think Jamie's going to be remembered here now, you know, for the rest of his days. Number four is Sutton United. Oh. The lowest ranked side left in the FA Cup have got themselves a home draw. The question is, who do they play? Number six. Sutton United will play oh. Arsenal in the next oh. round. Of the FA Cup. <laughs> the 12 times winners are travelling to Sutton. We are about to witness history as Sutton United and Arsenal march onto the playing surface at Gander Green Lane. It's the first ever competitive fixture between these two teams and it takes place in the fifth round of the FA Cup. A touch of magic has propelled Sutton to this stage and they'll need all the tricks they can conjure to knock out Arsenal and advance to the quarter-finals. This promises to be an evening that will live long in the memory of the 5,000 fans crammed into this famous old ground. Get possession back. Monreal. And at the far post was Theo Walcott. He made no mistake. He's doubled the lead for Arsenal. Eastman to Biamu. Back to Deacon. Oh, the crossbar's been smacked. Again of Sutton's adventure in the FA Cup this season. And there goes the full-time whistle. And a brave performance from Sutton United, ending in a 2-0 defeat to Arsenal, who are currently fourth in the Premier League. Well, Paul, it's, uh, it's all over, but uh, what a night. Mm. Yeah. Feeling of immense, immense uh, pride uh, of the club, uh, the supporters, and our players. I thought that they've done everything uh, and more today. Absolutely out on their feet with 75 gone against what was a fantastic Arsenal 11, and they showed us respect by picking that type of 11. But actually, everyone was into you know full internationals. To see Alexi Sanchez come on, you know, with the last 20, but Walcott at that point, Oxley Chamberlain, uh, and I thought. Even more, you know, just bursting with bursting with pride, really, uh, of what those players have done, and so pleased for them. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Matt, congratulations on getting the Sutton United job. What are you aiming for uh, f and for next season and beyond? Um, obviously a successful season. Now, what is a successful season? Probably setting goals, first and foremost. Um, for Sutton United to be in this division is, is the first and foremost. Like, I would imagine probably two thirds of the clubs will be saying the same thing. So getting to that points tally where we're mathematically safe. Now, if we've got months to go before the end of, uh, before the end of the season, the second goal is definitely one of my ambitions. I'm, I'm hungry and I want to be challenging for those playoffs. So the answer to your question is definitely a playoff challenge. Both sides heading to this one in good form. Sutton playing well on Saturday and earning a good result. While Preston heading to this game, third in their league. The winners of this tie will have a shot at playing Southampton or Sheffield Wednesday in the fourth round. Charles Cook, Charles Cook looking to play into Charles here. And it goes to a tie! Brilliant, brilliant goal! That was a stunning team effort by Sutton United! It's going to go out towards Fitzgerald, who's outside the box. Fitzgerald's going to shoot first time! Oh my goodness me! What a goal! It's a clutch here for Preston. Oh, he's brilliant. And Preston North End will go into the fourth round. Tricking it to the back post. And he's boy, he's had a brilliant goal. Fantastic header there. Can Randall seal this win? Yes, he can. Paul Randall, all by himself, goes up to the eighth pitch. And scores! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. At your boy! Oh, that sub strike! Over 1,000 Sutton fans are back at their second home, daring to dream. Is this the day? 90 minutes and a 25th league win of the season separates Sutton United from playing the fourth tier of English football for the first time ever. Rob Milsom get this on target. Milsom! Oh, it's gone in! Rob Milsom has put Sutton in front! And Rob Milsom with a terrific free kick. Should have James saved it. Sutton won't get a hole! Milsom delivers. A shot from John Lewis, that's going to in! And Louis John may have just got the crucial goal to wrap things up and send Sutton United into the Football League! It's away from Eastman. Oh, brilliant tackle from Eastman. He's done that all season. In these moments he really needs to do that. And here's Isaac Alafre now. Holds off Little in the box. Is he going to make it three? Still Isaac Alafre. Still Isaac Alafre! to finish and now it's surely party time here again the green lane our dreams are set to come true towards Sutton United being promoted to the football league it's over Sutton United are promoted to the football league an achievement which only we could dream of so many years ago We've done it, mission complete. This is the moment we've all waited for. It was going to take a special man to replace Paul Oswell. And there he is, the mastermind to our fifth promotion and the one which takes Sutton United into the Football League for the first time in its 123 year history. As a saying on the flag at the back of the Gander Green Lane then goes, fortune favors the bald. Captain Marvel gets his medal. Five years ago, Craig Eastman stood behind the podium watching Jamie Collins lift the National League South trophy. Now it's his turn to be front and centre and lift Sutton United up another division. But it's not just any other division, is it? Your 2020 to 21 National League champions, your history makers, your 150th club to play in the Football League, Sutton United!
Ma I've been doing these interviews for a long time. I've asked managers lots of questions. I seriously never thought I would ask this one. How does it feel to be the manager that's taken Sutton into the Football League? Feels unbelievable, Tony. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased with so many, so many people at the club. Um, I've been here two years or two and a half years, and I felt a, a real affinity to the club and so many good people here. You know, Paul Doswell bring me to the club and the 11 years that he's brought success and, and the foundations that he gave me along with Ian Baird and the help that they did uh, integrate me into the job. Um, Bruce, AB, the whole board, um, you know, really sad to, to uh, lose Brian Williams this season and, and you know, certainly a, a big result for him today. And I was thinking, thinking of him before the game and during the game, actually, and I'm, I'm really pleased we managed to do it for him today as well. Um, the staff, the players, you guys, the fans. <laughs> I'm trying to think of everyone because everyone is together on this and I'm just so pleased for everyone connected to the club. No, Matt, Matt joined the club beginning of last beginning of last season or the end of the end of the season before following Paul Doswell and it was a fair old act to follow but I think it's fair to say he's followed it. Um, I think everybody said that um, it was the most difficult job in non-league football um, and I think he's done absolutely brilliantly and um, this journey probably started with Doz so you know huge credit to Doz and Bairdy for for getting it to a stage and um, and achieving what they achieved here and then obviously Matt has taken it on and, and done fabulously and uh, you know you just have to take your hat off to him and the players for a superb season on the pitch. Next game in the Football League, Sutton United a Football League club, how does that sound? Sounds alright to me. Brilliant. Yep. Thanks, Excellent. Bruce. Well done. Cheers, Tony. Cheers. All the best. Alistair Smith on the edge of the area. So Silva scores for Sutton. Smith, great header. A fabulous goal for Alistair Smith. Low driven box, Alape blocks, Alape again and he scores! Blocked away to John and he scores! Sun double the lead! Might fall here to Wilson! 1 0! Slotted into the bottom left corner. Ben Goodlift smashing it top left. And it's saved by Musali! Yes! Sutton United are through! Oh, it's a fantastic strike! Oh. <laughs> Good one. An absolute thunderbolt from Alistair Smith to put Sutton 1-0 up. Kizzy 
again. Eastman's! Yes! Come on, Eastman! On his 300th appearance for Southern United! And then that left-footed volley low and hard made it almost impossible for Oxley. He steps up now for Sutton with a brilliant penalty. Referee blows his whistle. Tariqua steps up. Puts on his save! Sutton United are going to Wembley and have won the sheets out here against Wigan Athletic. Dean Buzan is the hero and sent Sutton into action after 41 years. They're heading to the famous part. Rock your tambourine for the chocolate and amber team. Sutton, rock your tambourine for the chocolate and amber team. Sutton, rock your tambourine for the chocolate and amber team. Sutton, rock your tambourine for the chocolate and amber team. Sutton, rock your tambourine for the chocolate and amber team. Sutton, rock your tambourine. Watson will try and loop it into the box for Butler. All oh, the goalkeepers missed it. And will Butler get it? Yes! On her last appearance for Sutton United. It's a lovely pass back towards Brown, who's crossed it into the middle for Hawford. Hawford shoots! 11! Brown comes in, and there goes the final whistle. Sutton United's women's side are the London and South Eastern Division 1 champions. And that brings us back to present day, where, as recording, we're only hours away from taking on Doncaster Rovers in League 2. Now look, there's no question that this club has come a very long way in 125 years, and who knows what the next 125 have to offer. But if history has taught us anything, it's that nothing is impossible for our club. And, as AB would say, We're forever, 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 forever amber. Forever amber. One nil! It's there! It's Jamie Collins! Eliza Galafi! Eliza Galafi! Oh yes! Your history makers, your 150th club to 